So that's fantastic that you mentioned that, and we appreciate it. Oh, I want to say hi as well. Happy to Jubilee. Happy Jubilee to you too. Happy Jubilee. Oh, happy Jubilee. Oh, happy Jubilee. You okay? Oh, happy Jubilee. Are you annoyed that you're working on a Monday? Thank you. Oh, happy Jubilee. Oh, happy, 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 happy Jubilee. <laughs> So as far as we're concerned, the summer officially started yesterday on Radio 1. As far as the chart is concerned, Rudimental Feel the Love took its rightful position at the top of the chart, thanks to you. And we caught it when we first played it, way right back in the day. Number one single. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to work that out. All the ingredients in place, and even on a bank holiday money, a special dedication to those people that don't get one. This one's for you, working to grind on the clock. Bank holiday Monday, feel the love. We hope you got a chance to enjoy some of the celebrations across the weekend and make the most of a little bit of time off. In the meantime, welcome to the show. Business as usual. The business of bringing the best music to your ears Monday to Thursday, 7 to 9 p.m. on world's famous BBC Radio 1 with me, Zane Lowe. We got Gary, we got Sam, we got Jim, and for a very short time, we got Daniel P. Carter in the studio tonight. Just kicking it. 81199, Twitter, Facebook, we're open for business. Reach out, let us know you're listening. What's up? Lost Profits, kick up the amplification of Notch or 10. Some night party coming up. We haven't even started.
shout outs to Martin, Alex and Carlisle. What's going on with the fight seven though? It's nice to you gold ones on a Monday. Calvin, Jackie and Jamie doing some mountain biking. Richard, Cheadle, Vicky and Lydia. Not just the regulars, but the newbies as well. Make this bank holiday Monday your first opportunity to get on board our show. <laughs> Night feature interview in a rare in-depth journey through one of the most successful careers in electronic music production with his most successful year under his belt. Calvin Harris is our feature at 8 p.m. tonight. Some people still working, some people never stopped. Now this one bonfires for all those people getting an extended break. If you're still outside, you're still drinking in the sun, you're listening to Radio 1, you're making the most of every single minute that Jubilee has granted you. Reach out! No. Double one, double nine on the text. Let's get them in. Twitter, Facebook. The question is, are you on board? Party smashing charts to bits worldwide, lining up a pro promising chart debut in America. UK looking good this week. Top five iTunes in Australia. Everything's coming up on fire. What's up to Techie Keith and Helen on board again? Welcome every time. Matt Aldroff, well and truly on board. Bigfoot Fishing in sunny Norfolk is on board. Ali and the lads having a barbecue in Manchester and John Greenwich on board. Looking forward to the O2. Double one, double nine, line them up. Let's get you in. Bonfire, yeah. BBC Happy 2012. If film, fashion, music, gaming, comedy, journalism, or making money is your thing, but you've no idea how to make it your job. Check into BBC Radio 1 and 1 Extra's Hackney Academy in June to get the start you need from people who are already doing what you love. Including Leona Lewis, Plan B, Paloma Faith, Adam Deacon, Labyrinth, Ashley Walters, Rizzle Kick, Fern Cotton and me, Trevor Nelson. Whatever your thing is, make it your future. Get inspired, get involved, take it on. To find out more, including how you can be there, go to the Radio 1 website. BBC Hackney 2012. Next. You ready for this? Dunno, the Dunno. This is next level, next generation, next high! Tonight's next hype is a band called The Chair. The track called Fever Fever came out on Jen Long's label last month and has already sold out on 7 Inch. They took apart The Great Escape and now they're going to do the same to your radio.
Fever Fever, track is called The Chair, and that is tonight's next hype on world's famous BBC Radio 1. What's up to Beth of Middlesbrough? And on that note, actually, let's shine a spotlight on Middlesbrough. If you're resting in Middlesbrough right now, whether you're outside having a beer or you're barbecuing, making the most of your bank holiday Monday, or whether you're still at work, if you've got access to a mobile phone or the internet, Twitter, Facebook, 81199, declare yourselves on board. Tonight, we shine a spotlight right here on Radio 1 on Middlesbrough. So line them up. If you're listening to the station, represent your area, let us know. We'll shout you out. In the meantime, what's up to Jay Hill on board and Josh Baker, Kat Davidson, and Yaz Adamson. Thank you for reaching out to us on Facebook. Metals Brush, stand up. Everybody else, welcome to the show and thanks for joining us on full week Monday to Thursday. It will include highlights from the likes of Tenacious D. They're going to be stepping into the ring for another world's famous BBC Radio 1 versus myself versus Kyle Gass and Jack Black. This coming Thursday between 7 and 9 p.m., first round ballot, 8 p.m. You do not want to miss that. Spread the word. Let's get them in. Hottest records from the likes of Casper and Net Sky. We are the ocean in a session from Maximo Park. Live music as far as live night is concerned tomorrow night. Archive live from Kasabian as the countdown to Radio 101 Extra at Hackney continues. And as for tonight, massive single of the week, ASAP Rocky Goldie. Album of the week plus interview from totally enormous extinct dinosaurs. Track is called Trump. Album is called Trouble. Gonna we'll play a track called Promises tonight. Hottest record in the world coming up from Lucy Rose. Frequent collaborator with Bombay Bicycle Club and singer-songwriter in her own right. She's ready to debut album and she tells us the name of it exclusively tonight. Plus, we have lines. Tonight's hottest record from Lucy Rose. That's coming up. And then there's our Monday night feature, which promises to be something that fans must listen to. Calvin Harris. Of course, Calvin Harris has had huge success as a band leader and singer in his own right with his own bands. But since he's become a world-famous and acclaimed producer, making massive hit records for the likes of Example, Dizzy Rascal and Rihanna, he's gone quiet. We find out why in a very rare long-form interview with Calvin Harris. Stepping outside the studio and outside of the peace and quiet to give us the lowdown on his latest single with Example, on his future, his plans, and why he made the jump from being band leader to producer and remixer. The benefits, the pros and the cons, and why he sees no line drawn between Cheryl Cole and Example. It's a remarkable interview, go check it out. Now as far as tonight is concerned, it's been a weekend full of it. And living where I live, being able to hear it from my backyard has been amazing. Coldplay continue their run. Tonight at Emirates is going to be massive. Greg James will be there singing out of key. Major minus, a highlight for Pounder. Coldplay on Radio 1.
UK met with critical acclaim and fan pandemonium. Coldplay major minors tonight, Emirates. It's gonna be big. Middlesbrough stood up and being counted. Katie, DJ, Natasha, David and Cheryl, Emma Baking Cakes, Giles Webster, Joe and Middlesbrough, Sam and his dad locked in. Ollie Jow. Thank you all in Middlesbrough, 811 Twitter, Facebook. Heading towards the hottest record in the world from Lucy Rose, but right now, premiered by Pete Tong, this is brand new from Maddian. It's called Finale. Track is called Finale. Kicking off the summer, it will no doubt do the same thing when the summer comes to an end and close it up. Right, Maximo Park. This track is called Hips and Lips. Hottest next.
for us this coming Wednesday. Maximo Park, Hips and Lips from the new album, The National Health. It's almost time for the hottest record in the world today. She's been working with the likes of Bombay Bicycle Club for some time now whilst preparing her own record, her own album. We're about to get the full skinny on it. The hottest record in the, night of, in the world tonight comes from an acclaimed singer-songwriter. Her name is Lucy Rose. Hi, Lucy. Hello. How's it going? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Look at us making you work on a bank holiday Monday. I know, it's alright. I'm already working anyway. There you go. Always being productive, and um, the hottest record in the world coming up is called Lines, and it's great. So tell us a few words about this song, what you'd like to tell us in the audience before we play it, and we'll get more info on the album after this. But what can you tell us about the record? Um, I don't know. I've never really written a song like this one before. It's completely insane, and it's got this a bit of a bizarre tempo change when it comes to the chorus. So it's taken a bit of persuading to get this to be the next single, because I think a lot of people are unsure about it, but... You know, I think it's a cool song and, you know, it means something to me. I think it's really cool and really instant and it's got, you know, I think it's pretty funky as well, dare I use the <laughs> F word. I mean, certainly, yeah. you know, the first minute, it's got a lot of swagger to it. We're going to check it out. This is Lucy Rose's hottest record in the world on Radio 1 right now. It's called Lines. It's Monday night with Zane Lowe. And it's about 7.30 p.m. And my man Zane is about to put on the hottest Zane Lowe, hottest record. The artist is on the phone right now, and that was the hottest record in the world from Lucy Rose called Lines. Tell us the name of the album, because I know you've got the information to share with everybody. We'd love to know. Yeah, I haven't actually told anyone this before, so... Uh, this is an exclusive, Lucy. I know. A lot of people have been asking me, and I didn't know whether to say it or whether I could, but... We are grateful for the information. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Drum roll, please. What's the name of the forthcoming record? It's going to be called uh, Like I Used To. And that's a great name. Where did it come from? Well, there's a song on it called Shiver, and the lyric is Shiver Like I Used To. And there's another song called Gamble, and I said I didn't gamble like I used to as well. There you so. go, it's the theme. Is it kind of, is it hard when it comes to naming an album, or was that something that cropped up quite early when you started to compile the, the record? I thought it was going to be really difficult. I thought it was going to be something I wouldn't be able to do. And then it just came to it, and we were recording it, and I just felt like some of these songs have been with me for quite a long time, and yeah. one of them are really fresh. And a lot of them, you know, I was in a period of my time where I was growing up and finding myself, and it's about things I used to do and how I used to be and it just felt like the right name for it. Yeah, man, looking back one more time before you obviously look completely forward because that's what a yeah. de debut album is isn't it it's, it's kind of an exactly. exorcism I think um, you know just as far as the story goes you know, a lot of people would like a bit of clarity as to, as to how you came to work with Bombay Bicycle Club because I know that you have a continued creative relationship with them Jack has been helpful in, help, in helping you get your songs realised as well yeah. and, and I mean he was playful with the, with the subject with me one time when he said that I think he met you when you were busking in, at some point or I don't know maybe he, you never know with Jack what's right and what's truthful yeah. so what is the actual truth behind it kind of, it's kind of a boring story but I went and watched them play when they were playing down at the old Prince Head and Angel and they were doing an acoustic set and I got chatting to Jack afterwards and he remixed one of my songs and we became friends and they asked me to come and sing a few shows with them and that was such a big deal to me at the time. Yeah. And then when Floors came about, it was Jack who just said, come over to my house and recording some acoustic songs and it took us like half an hour and he just recorded it in his bedroom. And I didn't think anything, you know, I thought it was a demo or I wasn't sure what it was. And then suddenly the album came out and wow. it was on there. So that was kind of insane. And, you know, it was the first time that my voice was ever on radio when you played it. It was such a big deal to me. And then it was just two and a half years of touring with them and then the third album. <laughs> and that's it, really. <laughs> Gee, if that's your boring story, I'd hate yeah. to hear your exciting <laughs> one. That's insane. I mean, yeah. I think the mo motto there is... Um, you know, don't be afraid to go and talk to people who that you admire or whose music no, exactly. you like. You know? See, we often talk about that. If I hadn't, if I hadn't come and said hello, how different our lives would have been right now. Yeah, well, you've been a fantastic addition to what Bombay do, and I don't think that we would be Bombay without you now. And, um, Thank and you. but it's also real. And spread the word. The Gaslight Anthem, forty-five.
Slight Anthem 45, one of the big returns of 2012 for fans and also for new fans. That's turned a lot of people on to the band. Quality music. Coming up, Plan B highlights from the, the Hackney Academy interview I did with the artist not long ago and the single of the week after this. The games of the 30th Olympiad in 2012 are awarded to the city of London. So whatever you're interested in, there's an opportunity in some sort of event attached to the games that you could go to. Right here in Hackney, Radio 1, we've got the two-day festival for Re. We are honoured to welcome the Olympic torch to the stage with our very own Fern Cotton. Superstars will headline BBC Radio 1 Hackney Weekend, taking place a month before the Games. Based in the centre of Hackney, the Academy will feature a host of leading names from the worlds of music, film, radio, fashion, comedy and much more. We're about graft and proper unity. We just needed the opportunity and now we've got that. BBC Hackney 2012. The Academy is open. Get inspired, get involved and take it on. The weekend is coming. Yes. Arts and Graham, dance and rhyme. Young nation, it's our chance to shine. Lost my way, fell down a hole. No one's gonna come and save my soul. Lost my way, no going back. I'm stuck right here. Will it matter than the illest man of person you've ever met in your manner or whatever likely to meet in any manner? Cause this man is deep, you judge him on the life that they lead. But then it isn't all this black and white, it seems they're all in some way enslaved in their circumstances, shape the way they behave when they're battling streets. Why? These kids, they got no hope. Walking around never states thinking this is it. They ain't never getting out and it's no joke. Probably it's the best of lives they're ever gonna get. They don't believe they can succeed or the opportunities you say about there really exist. Cause they've been told every day from the minute they were born by the first up parents of the age. Mum and dad never made nothing of themselves. Nah, so why the hell are they gonna? School's a waste of time, they're only gonna fail. The road above a wet jail, why ain't they gonna? I mean, they hang with thugs, they sell drugs, ain't afraid to put a couple slugs in you if you say something. They ain't in that way, but you don't care either way. To you, they're all the same, just a bunch of abuse that are out every day. Looking for the devil's pain The young soul's dead when it's chain Listen and you hear them say Lost my way Lost my way Fell down Let there be light created Adam and Eve Then he gave them eyes and told them both to believe And something they will never actually physically see Then the devil came along and planted a seed And that started growing from the ground like trees Right up to the sky so profound They seemed to be the only thing in this life that wasn't a dream Made from stone, steel and iron beams The council blocks to defiantly mean And bullied the sky so everybody could see Some birds were caged and will never be free And gradually people began to change their beliefs Until God was nothing more than just a fictional being The worship of money merged through colours and creeds Into one true religion and it was driven by greed Corporate machines trying to sell you shit you don't need On the television and the ad breaks in between The people only cared about material things I'm not like the other fellow human beings And I'm guilty of it too, or so it seems I've lost my way Fell down a hole No one's gonna come And save my soul That's my way That's my way I'm going to mash up the ball head brother there. Jano, but what? I'm going to do it. Don't do it with violence. I'm going to do it Don't do it with violence. I'm going to do it with man. I don't steal, cheat. That's it. I'm going to serve. No matter what the weak heart say. 
And I know that I and I is that a tree that plant by the river of water. And not in the grains so while a Babylon shall escape this judgment. For I and I know that I and I know that all of the youth shall witness the day that Babylon shall fall. Former single of the week, Plan B. We were going to drop the ASAP Rocky record there as promised. We'll do that soon. But it just felt appropriate to bring that in. All that wonderful talk about how things are building towards Hackney and all of Radio 1 and 1 Extra and the BBC's involvement and commitment to making the Olympics in Hackney and making what's going on in that area very centralised, that area, and also really asking some serious questions to the artists and the people who live there, grew up there, and have taken that inspiration and turned it into art. And I had the honour and privilege of being a part of that conversation between Plan B and a packed out audience at the Hack the Academy last Friday. It was a truly inspiring 60 minutes where Plan B not only answered all the questions eloquently and honestly, passionately and at times painfully, but he also really put the audience through their paces and encouraged them to ask questions to some of the young people that he'd brought to the audience from the Tunmarsh Centre where he's been working with young people. This is an area where, in a school that he went to, a pupil centre that he went to when he was kicked out of school, he's gone back there to inspire them, he's been working with them for the last month, it's all being filmed as part of a forthcoming BBC3 documentary and it's all part of Plan B's approach to his art which is to go out there you know carve up the reality serve it out there for you to absorb but then also put himself right in that place too that his actions speak as well as his words a remarkably inspiring guy and an amazing thing and uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to see the BBC3 documentary and here's just one of the things that Plan B had to say from the Hackney Academy on Friday you're on your own until you prove yourself not just to other people but to yourself you know when I when I started doing gigs on my own on my guitar I thought you know what there's some producers that I'd gone to before that, that said that they didn't want to produce for me and suddenly they're coming up to me I thought you know what I don't even need you anymore I'm doing my thing I'll get I'll get a better producer than you you know I work with better people than you and that's how you guys you, you need to think you, you need to say to yourself I am going to do this for the rest of my life because I love it. And I always said that, you know, people say, what are you going to do if it, if, if it don't work out for you? I said, well, I'll just carry, carry on the rest of my life playing music in pubs, you know, making no money from it because I love it. Honestly, if you're talented and you love what you do, people will see it and they will come to you. You never have to beg anyone for nothing, you know, and that's, that's the truth of it. it, is, it. Never it. Amazing stuff, Plan B. Incredibly honest as part of the Q&A at the Hackney Academy. What's happening on Tuesday tomorrow at the Hackney Academy? If you get down there from 10 to midday, you can build your business and confidence, and there's a seminar in that. Also, T-shirt design using collage from 1 to 2 p.m., getting into film and TV and spy session. Hear inspirational stories from people working in film and TV, including a Bollywood director, an actor who runs a drama school, a TV runner, and an independent film producer. It's hosted by Rihanna, Radio One's resident film expert. There's also t-shirt design, there's also physical comedy and improvisation, journalism, getting the scoop between 3.30 and 5.30, and then from 4.30 to 5.30, take it on. The Q&A is with reggae, reggae source maker Levi Roots, the founder of Wire Nails, and also an entrepreneur who's done incredibly well. So there you go. A lot of people involved in the Hackney Academy, a lot of things to go and learn and get involved in. Truly inspiring to be down there. Make sure you make it down if you live in the area, or in fact travel to go and check it out if you're inspired. There is hope. Despite what the vaccines tell you, with their tongues firmly in their cheek. Ten minutes until the Monday Night Feature with Calvin Harris. It's Radio 1. Oh, I could bore you with the truth about an uneventful youth. Though you could get that rap from someone else. And I could make an observation if you want the voice of the generation. But I'm too self-absorbed to give it clout. And I don't really care about anybody else when I haven't got my own life figured out. Cause when you're young, you're born in 24 and don't know you, I know, but there's no open inside to come on.
start to second guess if you would be approving. I find my life ever so moving. Came wide eyed and unassuming. Think, ask yourself this question. When was the last time you heard Calvin be interviewed in depth since he's become a globally successful international producer? Huh. Exactly. Huh. I said it must be. Wasn't it? Got dope. Extraordinary swag in the mouth full of gold. Was at my shows, they be stripping off their clothes. And they call the girls right a nickname on each other. Get sucked till they get locked jaw. Prone to your dome till you get locked jaw. Party like a cowboy or a rock star. Everybody play the tough guy. Just pop off. Let's take it to the basis. You and them, Mr. Greatness. My Martin was amazing. Rock my jealous with no laces. Chris, I go by the cases. Wait, hold up, that was racist. I would prefer the aces. Ain't no different when you taste it. My 40 ounces chase it. That's just an understatement. I'm early to the party, but my Rari is the latest. Somehow it's Girls in they late teens Remind me of favorite jeans Cause they naked cause you famous Like some mother ain't it These other rappers other rap So tell me what your name is I'ma tell it to my stainless You aim it for you bang it But that bring it leave you brainless It's just me, myself, and I That I came with It's lameness Gonna hate on me Until I tell them to they base They ain't no cheap Low key Mad cause I'm smooth puffin' zigzag Tell them quit the riff rap with your bitch. I said it must be Cause the nigga got dope Extraordinary swag in the mouth full of gold Was at my shows, they be stripping off the clothes And they call the girls right a nigga name on the toe right. Get sucked till they get locked jaw Prone to your dome till you get locked jaw Party like a cowboy or a rock star Everybody play the tough guy just pop off Yes, I'm... Tell me, do a stink. It feel good waking up some money in the bank. Three models, you know, in the sink. And I'm so body, body, I might roll up in the tank. Cause my chain came from Cuba, got a lock up on the link. And the red bottom loaf is just to compliment the mink. I sh- rolling up that dink, blowing on that sink. What you mean? Tell me what you drink. I'm on that kiss and paint. You, you could call me Billy Gates, got a crib in every state. Man on the moon, got a kind of out of space. Open up your legs. Tell me how it tastes in a token. Go tell them, tell it to my face. Tell that top up on my rotor, born a quick in the six. Told us up the motor, motor. I'm this sh- mad cause I'm smooth, puffing zigzag. Tell them with the riff rap and with your. I said it must be cause the nigga got Joe. ASAP Rocky. He's joining us for an interview this week as well. Massive week this week, actually. We get the verses coming up with Tenacious D. We're also going to be catching up with Slipknot in the ring, doing a verses with Corey and Clown from Slipknot and ASAP Rocky. One, two, three. Line them up, knock them down. It's going to be massive. Right, so that's ASAP Rocky. Single of the week. That is Goldie. Album of the week time. From Munich all the way through to Belfast, Miami, Colombia, Sao Paulo, back to Germany, and currently in Newcastle. The road never ends, but the music continues to flow. Fatigued Orlando, good evening. Good evening. How are you today, sir? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. How is Newcastle? Uh, I'm going on stage any second. Well, we'll no, I don't know yet. 
<laughs> well, we'll say I was meaning generally as a, a, in terms of weather and vibe. Generally, oh, the, the, that weather's the main thing. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. It's a perfect day for you to perform. Do you, do you like performing in the daytime, given that you know your music is probably more rooted in a nighttime experience? Uh, I, 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 would, I prefer nighttime, but day's all good. Day's all good. Listen, the album of the week, man. Um, congratulations on getting it finished. I know it's been a real labour of love, and a lot of work's gone into it. How, how's the overall feeling now that it's finally finished and you can put a ribbon on it? Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm just relieved to <laughs> have it done. Um, that makes it sound like it was a chore. I mean, it was really fun and. Um, yeah, I guess I'm I'm happy. I wanted to keep on working until I felt like it was a finished item. Yeah. So yeah. Is that a hard point to get to when you've worked on something for so long and you have a selection of, especially with the music you make, which is a real selection, cross varied selection of moods and and feelings. It's not like you can go, well, I've got ten bangers on there, bish bosh done. Um, you're trying to create a, a real listening experience. How was it to just finally get it done? You know, to finish it. Was it tricky? Yeah, the last month was kind of like toing and froing, and every time I hear a tune, one of my records, I'm like, oh, I should change that bit, and oh, I should change that bit, and there comes the point where obviously eventually you just have to be right, okay, let go now, and, yeah. and just, it, it is what it is. One of the exclusives we're going to play off the record tonight is called Promises. What can you tell us about that? Uh, that was kind of a new thing for me. It was the first time I, I was working with guitars. For me, that record is, is the record that most sounds like it comes from Oxford, which is where I'm from. So that's kind of like my Oxford tune um, on the album. things the band has ever done, I think. Totally Normal Sixteen Dinosaurs, Orlando. Track is called Promises from the album of the week called Trouble. 
That's an exclusive on the show. Thanks to Orlando for letting us play that up front and first. World's Famous, BBC Radio 1 on this wonderful bank holiday Monday in honour of the Queen's Jubilee right across the weekend. Hopefully you've had a bit of time to get some relaxation and recharge your batteries. And right now we're going into our Monday night feature interview with an artist who has been making great records for quite some time, both in his own steam and most recently in collaboration with others. And the reason behind that is just, you know, there's several reasons and we get to the bottom of it with the artist Calvin Harris and the Monday night feature interview. So without further ado, we pick it up at the point where I, where I was trying to explain how it's happened relatively quickly in my eyes. He's gone from being this kind of artist who's up front with a band, doing it conventionally, to being a studio-based guy, having huge success both in the charts and in the clubs. So it's actually been a relatively short amount of time since you drew a line in the sand as a, as a, as a band leader and a vocalist and decided to focus entirely on club music. It's happened really quickly, hasn't it? A matter of years, a couple of years. Uh, yeah, and it's been, well, 18 months since I released a track called A Wurga, which was like that was it. club. Uh, it feels like a lot longer, you know. The, the, the guy on stage trying to sing feels like a completely different person, you know. Mm. I'm well happy to have left it behind. I remember the last time I saw you as a band member and not as a DJ, and you looked yeah. totally depressed <laughs> and this is not and this is not like supposed to be a reflection on your friends in the band or what you did musically before but you just you just look like it you know tired and i and and you know then as soon as i saw you out on your own you look totally rejuvenated like you're a different guy like yeah i can't i can't blame it on the band members it was like it was part of uh it, i liked the music that i was making but i just i, I thought performing it was pointless because it didn't make it any better it just made it worse Mm. And I always, I always, always love making music. That's like predominantly what I'm, what I want to do. So um, uh, I don't know. Just as soon as I started singing, just the whole world of different things opened up for me. I could work with, with great singers and great artists, and still get to make music. You know, make even more music than I've made before in my life. We took it all apart, but I'm wishing I'd stay.
Standing in the light till it's over Out of our minds Someone had to draw a line We'll be coming back for you one day We'll be coming back for you one day I don't even care if I know you Out of our minds Glad to leave it all Watch this return for Calvin Harris, an example And you're locked into the Monday Night Feature interview with Calvin Harris, we break his anonymity for one night only to go in depth about his work as a producer. I want to talk about you know a lot of the productions you've done, but but let's focus on let's get let's just address the elephant in the room because the Rihanna record, which is the you know biggest record of the last twelve months, fact, and that's in figures, as much yeah. as it, and as much as it is in the opinion of many people who like it. Tell us about that record. Tell us how that one came about. And is it true that you know you wrote pretty much the entirety of that record? That's your that's your, pretty much all your publishing. Sure, well it, well, it was going to be on my album, it was going to be my third single. Um, I don't think a lot of people noticed, but I did, I come up with Bounce and then Feel So Close, and then there was a big gap in between that and uh, that other track that just came out of the other one. Um, but uh, that was meant to be my third single, um, and I was looking for someone to sing on it, and it ended up in, in the hands of Rihanna, and she... Uh, I heard she fought for it. Oh, she was obsessed with it. And uh, it wasn't like she she didn't fight me for it because as soon as I, I knew that she wanted to sing it, I was like, well, this is going to be incredible, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just to get to record it with her. And then um, when we did the vocal, when it was all done, I was just like, this, there's no way that this could be a better record with anyone else singing on it. Uh, I mean, she didn't have to put featuring me on it, do you know what I mean? Like, she's, mm -hmm. she's got other records that people have written and produced and you don't have featuring them on it, but that was like a... Uh, I don't know, just like a, 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 a mark of respect or something. Wow. I don't know, like, she just felt that she wanted to put my name on it, and I'm, I'm eternally grateful to her. Yeah, well, it changed your life. I mean, I, you yeah. know, in, 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 in many, many ways. <laughs> and I have to I gotta ask the question, because I said to my exec producer today, Rob, who's a good man, and he's a music fan, and, and we were talking about how what a great journey it's been watching you kind of... Because that's why, you know, a big part of why we're in this, you know, is to watch artists grow and make more music and develop and stuff. We're having this big wistful yeah. conversation about how much, you know, you've grown from that time when he saw your, your MySpace. Someone recommend, look at his MySpace, there's a few tracks up there, it's early days. And he's like, now he's done the Rihanna record. And I'm like, Rob, is this one question you want me to ask Calvin Harris? You've been tracing his journey from start to finish, what is it? And he said, can you ask him, is he mad rich now? <laughs> <laughs> I could probably answer that question for you, but needless to say, I mean, it does make a difference when you're working with artists like Rihanna, doesn't it? It's a different game completely, you know, the first bit of outside production that I did that was really successful was Did You Ask or um, Dance With Me? And that was like a revelation for me to not do any promo and, and have money coming in, you know, it just felt, in, it felt, not, it felt like I was cheating. <laughs> you know, it felt like I, I'd, I'd written the song months and months and months ago and I was, you know, just working in the studio, you know, having a very relaxed lifestyle, but I was getting checks, you know, <laughs> it was, it was crazy. And now it's like a similar kind of thing, but I'm, I'm working, you know, I'm fighting for it, I'm working every day. You do. I'm, I'm doing the shows, I'm, I'm producing more tracks, it's like I'm, I'm giving myself deadlines, you know, no one's giving me deadlines anymore, I'm kind of more my own boss than what I used to be, but um, I'm kind of, I'm hard on myself still, because I, I feel like I, I want to feel like I'm working for it. What's up, darling? I've been keeping my eye on your movement. I can't see no room for improvement. Or why you all over there on your Jack Jones? You need to let me get behind your backbone. Cause I'm the man for the job, let me work here. I won't waste no time, I'll make it worth it. 100%, I'll make it worth it. You got a body to die for, let me work here. Now it's murder on the dark floor. I wanna take this further than the dark floor. I ain't fools fool, but I'm still hardcore. You're gonna give me everything I ask for. It's not a long team, you're the boom team. Maybe more than a hotel room. I'll never know if I just walk past I really wanna dance, so I guess I'll just she pass no oh. Look at those eyes, it's in her eyes She's good to go She can satisfy my mind, body and Come and dance with me, come and dance with me Come and dance with me, come and dance with me I see you glance at me, that's why I'm asking B So let's party B, come and dance with me If I'm out on my own Then I can look at you, looking at me If I'm out on a date Then I just shut my eyes Like, listen, 
my song You think I wanna get involved, you are not wrong Cause I've been waiting for this moment all night long So I creep, creep, creep back like to your scene I've got my left hand checking out your scenery I've got my right hand right where it needs to be No matter how I look at it, you look good to me Still, I'm looking for the perfect view The way I see it, that's right next to you I know you've probably heard it before, but still I love it when you flex like that for real So don't stop doing what you do when you do it I just wanna be a part of it when you do it I feel like a wally if I don't pursue it And I can't go through it, so let's get she through it no oh, Look at those eyes, it's in her eyes She's good to go She can satisfy my mind, body, and Come and dance with me, come and dance with me Come and dance with me, come and dance with me I see you glance with me, that's why I'm asking B So let's party B, come and dance with me I know you didn't come out to stand and stare You bought new shoes and you did up your hair You made a real effort tonight and it shows I can tell by your face you don't wanna be alone Cause the mood is right and the time is now And if you can't do it, I'll show you how What you gotta do is get loose, let go Just throw a couple shakes, put your skills on show Currently listening to the Monday Night Feature with Calvin Harris, one of the UK's most successful music producers in modern music. Producer of the largest single of the last 12 months, not only in the United Kingdom, but also right across America as well. Monstrous hit with Rihanna. If I'm out on my own. Well, let's let's talk a little bit about. I, I want to ask you, a, you know, a tough question because, you know, I'm used to you working with the Dizzy Rascals. I'm used to you working, you know, with with you know, collaborating on, on records and, and doing your own thing. Um, and, and you're so in demand right now. And and a, f a friend of mine once said to me, you know, it's not what you do, it's what you don't do that will define you. You know, you've pulled off everything you've done up to this point because it sounds like you and you brought a real element of class and taste to some artists who I'm not necessarily a fan of. And yet I'm like, wow, Calvin's pulled that off. You know, I, I, do you? feel like you're walking a line at the moment and that at some point you're going to have to stop because you know you know what i'm going to say i mean you know a cheryl cole record is a risk in my eyes it's a risk and i mean i know you wanted to work with her you're a fan of pop music but still are you aware of walking the line no to be honest i'm aware that the line's there for other people but i honestly honestly couldn't care less now you know six years in at what anybody thinks of any record that i'll ever release i couldn't care less it's an amazing feeling just to be like, I, because first album I got slated, man, slated by reviewers, slated yeah. by everyone. Everyone slated me. Then second album I was like, well, this, you know, I'm really proud of this. I think this, this might go down better. No, it got slated by everyone again. Mm. And then I'm just like, well, okay, so obviously I can't win because when when I produce something that I'm genuinely like proud of and, and that I love and that took me ages and and uh, that I think sounds amazing and it's a different sound or whatever, people plan it. So, um, and, and when I do something that I did in my sleep, you know, like some pop tune that, that I don't put hardly any effort in, you know, some people like it. It's the same, it's the same result. Mm. So really, I'm the only guy that gets to say what I make is, is uh, whether it's good or not. So now I'll just, I'll just do whatever I want.
tuned into the Monday Night Feature interview with Calvin Harris. Tracing his journey from band leader to producer, collaborator, and solo artist. The first record that I put out was acceptable in the 80s. That is not a credible record. So, I like, I'm, I'm setting my stall out from that. That's like the benchmark, man. I'm like, mm. it's not going to get any, any cheesier or less credible than that. So, <laughs> so crack on. And the records are sounding better than ever. Like, my, my mixing and my producing is, is, a hundred, a hundred times better than what it was before, you know? I know, man. And the thing is, the bar is constantly being set by you and by your peers and others in your field. It's it's incredible. Like, when I hear Club Records coming out of your studio or the studio of, of Mannion or the studio of Porter Robinson or Rob Swire or Skrillex, it just blows me away, the level of, of, of sonic perfection that's, that's floating around at the moment. The bar's been raised basically for me because uh, because of Deadlines, you know, when he first came out with that first album, I and I spoke to him about how he made them sounds and how he, how he, how he got the sounds and, and the stuff like bass going out of phase and all that. I, I didn't even give that a second thought. Like, I would mix things, and if I thought they sounded good, then it was good. It was more like a shot in the dark at mixing stuff. Yeah. But now, it's like, it's a, it's, a, it's a technical aspect. Like, I'm looking at mixes. It's not just... Um, it's not just how it sounds, it's how it looks, and, <laughs> and testing it in clubs as well, you know, it's, it's all just, it's a completely different thing to what I used to be doing. Dude, you know, I mean, apart from being mates, you know how much of a fan I am of your work and how much I respect the, the moves that you've made towards, you know, establishing yourself towards doing what you want to do because we've spoken honestly in the past about how those reviews and those times were, were tough for you, you know, and you, yeah, you sure. know, you know, you ended that, that era and you started a new one and the results speak for themselves. And, um, it's just really nice to talk with you, man. I appreciate your honesty as always. And, and, you know, thanks a lot for your time, Calvin. Great hanging out. No worries, mate. Thanks for having me. BBC Radio 1. Listen, watch, share. This week on the Radio 1 website, you can... Listen again to any show from the last seven days, including the best in dance and hip-hop with Diplo and Friends. Some amazing mixes. Some of the best. Watch The Cribs in session for Zane Lowe and Lost Profits in the Live Lounge with me, Fern Cotton. Fern Cotton, one less than a month. Plus, join in and share the hilariously fun and addictive Chris Moyle's Hackney Dash game. Right, let's do this. Kapow! Listen, watch, share on the new and improved BBC Radio 1 website. Check the Radio 1 website for more highlights. Listen, watch, share. <laughs> this is the future of music. This is the future of music. <laughs> Bombay Bicycle Club. Nice stop gap for Lucy Rose collaborator at 8.30 with the hottest record repeat.
London Bicycle Club track is called Big, riding underway for their next record. Collaborator and band member Lucy Rose's solo record. Hottest record tonight is called Lions. We'll repeat it at 8.30. Lucy Rose fans, watch out. Coming up tonight, Radio 1 Stories, The Traveling Man. Join Maverick Sabre as he meets some of Hackney's young travellers from 9pm. This is Zelia Banks. This track is called Jumanji, produced by Hudson Mohawk. And in my humble opinion, not that anyone, least of all her, cares. This is where Zelia Banks actually arrives. This is that jamma jamma go anthem. Banana get the you got the question I answer for llama mama. I'm better but better put, put your bets up. Truth said the second the cheddar. Trinchillas, feathers and leathers. A, B, A, B, the two letters about my bread. Till dead if I plan to blame on those hammers. Long we about the limo. They want my photos and pictures inside the day. The cameras, bloggers, critics, and scandals, man, handle savage. I damage it real. All day uptown, Broadway, real. All day uptown, Broadway. That cannon, cannon, contain you. Your auntie, nannies, and grandmas, they all jam in a jammer. Come join in and put your hands up the scope. We've been in cabanas, all my vehicles, handsome. The mules with the vessels, I bought them, all the fellas. Never talking money, I can't ever understand That cutie, cutie, man, beauty, that juicy, juicy, oh, truly Back to these hoozies and gucci's, you fruity, truly and booty Don't make me remove your goofy, I do it cause it's my duty Crazy and kinda spooky, your booty, step up your coochie Woo, all day, uptown, Broadway Woo, all day, uptown, Broadway All of my Gucci designer, vagina, Gucci Those kinda groupies, they flying, they trying to scoop me Record. Hudson Mohawk on fire right now. Watch out for the Tonight Project, which is collaborative with another beat maker called Lunas. But the name you're looking for right now, Hudson Mohawk for all things hip hop and beat related, and Azealia Banks. That's an artist. If you listen to this show or any Mac or in fact Daytime Radio One, you'll know her from the record 212. Forthcoming EP due out along with a mixtape from her and an album still waiting. Former hottest record. This is Pure Love. It's called Handsome Devil's Club. From Frank and Jim. Lucy Rose's hottest record coming up next.
Lucy Rose's hottest record in the world was premiered at 7.30pm this evening with an interview from the artist herself. A collaborator with Bombay Bicycle Club, she'll be very familiar to fans of that particular band, but she's also developing a very passionate fan base with her own wonderful, thoughtful songs. Tonight's hottest record in the world, slightly early but gets repeated, is called Lines. It's Monday night with Zane Lowe, and my man Zane is about to put on the hottest exclusively tonight on the show which is called Like I Used To a lyric that reflects in a series in, in several tracks on the record and uh, we're very much looking forward to hearing more from Lucy Rose as are others as this text suggests excited to hear the new Lucy Rose missed it earlier saw her in Bombay Boys at Ali Pali last month and that's from Eve and Sophie in Balakay thanks very much for all your tweets all your texts and Facebook as well stay with us tonight till 9pm of course because we've got great records and we're going to be adding to our summer playlist big tunes that we think you should add to your playlist throughout the summer months including this one from Nas track is called Daughters not only a powerful and beautiful sentiment but also one of those classic rap songs that only Nas can deliver check it out I call it yeah 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 for my brothers with daughters I call this for my brothers with daughters I call this for my brothers with daughters, I call this For my brothers with daughters I saw my daughter send a letter to some boy her age Who locked up, first I regretted it, then caught my rage Like, how could I not protect her from this awful fate? Never tried to hide who I was, she was taught and raised Like a princess, but while I'm on stage, I can't leave her defenseless Plus she see me switching women, pops was on some pimps She heard stories of her daddy thugging So if her husband is a gangster, can't be mad, I love her Never for her, I want better Homie in jail, dead dad Wait till he come home, you can see where his head's at God came, they be trying to live He seen your mama crib Plus I'm sure he know who your father is Although you real, plus an honest kid Don't think I'm slow, I know you probably had that chronic lid You 17, I got a problem with it She look at me like I'm not the cleanest father figure But she rockin' with it For my brothers with daughters, I call this For my brothers with daughters, I call this Not saying that our sons are less important uh, 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 uh. For my brothers with daughters, I call this For my brothers with daughters, I call this Not saying that our sons are less important uh, yeah. This morning I got a call, nearly split my wig The social network said, Nas, go and get your kids She's on Twitter, I know she ain't gonna post no pic Of herself underdressed, no inappropriate Right, her mother cried when she asked her. Said she don't know what got inside this child's mind She planted a box of condoms on her dresser Then she Instagrammed it At this point I realized I ain't the strictest parent I'm too loose, I'm too cool with her Should've drove more time to school with her I thought I dropped enough jewels on her Took her for private school So she can get a balance to public school They too nurture teen talents They grow fast One day she's your little princess Next day she's talking boy business What is this? They say the coolest players in phallus Heartbreakers in the world God gets us back He makes us have precious little girls uh, For my brothers with daughters I call this For my brothers with daughters I call this Not saying that our sons are less important uh, uh. The first time we heard the Don from Nas, we knew something special was cooking in the studio with him and Salam Remy and various producers he's lining up for his forthcoming new record, but Daughters only cements that hope. And I ain't trying to mess It's two for two. You gotta remember with a lot of rappers in this day and age that come out with an incredibly strong street record and they follow it up with a commercial record, which kind of undoes a lot of that good in my eyes and perhaps the eyes of other real sort of hip hop fans. But that track, Daughters, is just an amazing, amazing example of how rap music can still walk the line between being tough, incredible, but also having a message and being pop. Love. Not the pop you're used to these days. But still timeless rap music. That is Nas Daughters. Watch out for a full-length interview with Nas. He'll be joining us on the show at some point very, very soon. You heard the news about Blog Party, huh? Back with a brand new album, putting up teasers of the forthcoming record, and it sounds exciting. It sounds like a rock record. We'll go into it in a minute. <laughs>
because we wouldn't be able to give you an honest answer beyond the obvious, which is that it's, as Sam quite rightly put, in the top five coolest songs ever recorded. And there you go, that's why. All right, and it's a bank holiday Monday, so there you go. We step off piste for just a second and bring your sister Nancy Bum Bum. Any complaints? I want you guys to uh, just remember that record, Sister Nancy Bum Bum, B-A-M, B-A-M. And whenever you're having a day where it feels insurmountable and all your troubles are on top of you, rather than reach for the obvious, the uplifting or the sad records that are going to make you feel like you can climb a mountain or dig it even further into your hole, just go for something cool. Just remember, you got some swag. Just, woo, ridiculously good record. So Block Party are back. We're very excited about this. They announced details of their forthcoming new album, which is called Four. And we spoke to Kelly from the band exclusively on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show earlier this year. He told us to expect a rock record, or at least the guitars had been put back into play. For a long time, Block Party... Had still continued to use guitars, but not to the same extent that they had on their first two records, and it felt like, in a way, they were moving in a direction and there was no turning back. That's not the case, as the trailers from the forthcoming Block Party album for a test. Trailer number one. No song titles just yet, just music. Clip number two. So pumpkins. Amazing. Clip number three. Clip number two again, because I want to hear it. Back to clip number one. And to clip number two one more time. Because it sounds so awesome. <laughs> And finally to clip number four for a minute, then a track and fall off the back. Needless to say, the new Block Party album is lining up to be a classic. I'm getting emotional because it's just so nice hearing them not play like they used to play, play like they play now, but not forgetting who they are. That makes sense. Very, very special band. Never forget it. And when this new album, Four, drops, you won't. New Block Party record. Nice of them to put a few teasers up for us. Normally I get quite dismissive of album teasers because it's just frustrating. But it's been such a long wait for a record. And given that there's so much wonderful melody and guitar involved in that, then I will accept that and embrace it like all fans. Absolutely special. You remember this one, right?
thing about this record from Block Party from their back catalogue of brilliant music I still remember is that in the past this would have been played on a radio station and, and fans would have gone oh, remember when Block Party used to be good and they've never not been good they've always pushed the boundary and made great music but the good news is that we can play I Still Remember and know that the forthcoming record in some way shape or form will reflect it to a certain extent and that's not to say they've gone backwards it's to say they're going forwards in a different way it's exciting I'm so excited about the Block Party album I cannot wait your summer playlist additions are coming up after this BBC Hat Me 2012 if film, fashion, music, gaming, comedy, journalism or making money is your thing but you've no idea how to make it your job Check in to BBC Radio 1 and 1 Extra's Hackney Academy in June to get the start you need from people who are already doing what you love. Including Leona Lewis, Plan B, Paloma Faith, Adam Deacon, Labyrinth, Ashley Walters, Rizzle Kid, Fern Cotton and me, Trevor Nelson. Whatever your thing is, make it your future. Get inspired, get involved, take it on. To find out more, including how you can be there, go to the Radio 1 website. BBC Hackney 2012. As you compile your music for the summer month, of 2012 put Bo Saris on the list. like the weather is still fairly schizoid at the moment around the United Kingdom. We're still keeping our fingers crossed for a good summer and we're compiling music for you on your playlist. Put Bo Saris, S-A-R-I-S, She's on Fire, chuck it on the list, as well as Hermitude. Track is called Speak of the Devil, former Next Hype. Now it's on the Your Summer playlist on world's famous BBC Radio 1. Coming up, Radio 1 Stories, Nick Grimshaw from 10pm to midnight, The Rock Show with Daniel Picarda, Charlie Sloth and Pete Allison at 4 to 7am.
just as simple as trying to filter down the music for you in some kind of summer orientated playlist. You put Hermitude on there, H-E-R-M-I-T-U-D-E. -E. Track is called Speak of the Devil. I've been around for a minute, they're from Australia. Kind of sounds like it too. It's sort of like a more conventional reflection of the avalanches and what they did a few years back. We're gonna put one more on your summer mixtape tonight and do not forget, coming up, Radio One Stories, Maverick Saber meets with Hackney's Young Travelers. They can tell their own life story in the shadow of the Olympic Stadium. It's called The Traveling Man. Nick Grimshaw from 10 p.m. to midnight with a rumored appearance by Rolf Harris. Daniel Picardo with Clutch from Midnight, Charlie Sloth, and Pete Allison. Winner of Best Man of the 2011 Student Radio Awards. Tune in from 4 a.m. to hear why. This is Alabama Shakes. Put on your summer playlist. And put barbecue in brackets next to this one. And look out for a new Band of Horses album, too. Sabian as we count down to Hackney. Right now, we'd like to do a very special dedication to someone who sent a request in earlier on in the night, and we collected it, we put it to one side, and we saved it. So Richard on Twitter has requested for you this track is forever by Hain.
from Kasabian Archive Live as we count down to Hackney. Also, hottest record from Next Guy. Oh, we are the ocean tomorrow. When's Next Guy? Wednesday. Exciting times. All right. Don't ask why. <laughs> we just decided that this was going to be the song we were going to end tonight's show with. And so it is. Enjoy the rest of your night with Radio 1. We'll catch you guys again tomorrow from 7 p.m. Don't be late. Good evening. <laughs>